every biological surface that we've looked at um, uh, uh, produces easy water. So I think, you know, it may be that, that biology is by design, um, biological materials are biological because they interface with easy water. And, um, you know, easy water may be uh, uh, rather, rather fundamental. I, I know that Luc Montagnier has been, who studies water now and structured water and uh, information in water. As you, you probably know, he won Nobel Prize for uh, discovering HIV. Um, and he's been suggesting um, uh, he has evidence that the water that surrounds the DNA is, is um, easy or structured or is easy water and can contain information. Uh, you see, that's the, the more interesting part. And then information can be transmitted uh, non-chemically uh, somehow by electromagnetic waves to water. And it, 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 it's, um, it's, it, it's so interesting. And, you know, it, it, may be, it may be that water and biological molecules are so closely tied uh, to one another that he is suggesting that the water came before the DNA. We like to think that, you know, there is DNA and cells built based on the DNA. And he's arguing, uh, it makes sense to me too, that the water came before the DNA and that nature, in order to preserve this kind of structural information, um, nature built DNA, RNA and such, but the water actually came first, the water containing the information. And, you know, easy, um, it's just right for containing information because because in, in, in some sense, it's like a computer memory. You know, computer memory consists of a three-dimensional array of, of um, transistors. And um, each one is regularly positioned in, in this three-dimensional array. And each entity in that array can uh, have two states. Uh, we say zero or one or on and off. And that's how, that's how the information is stored. And the easy structure is very similar. Uh, it's a three-dimensional array of oxygens and hydrogens. Um, and if either the hydrogen or the oxygen could occupy two different states, then you've got the basis for memory. And a lot of, a lot of research has shown that um, easy, or I should say that water, and I think it's easy water, uh, can contain information and transmit in information. And it turns out, it turns out, uh, that the oxygen molecule can occupy not two states, but five different states. Um, these are oxidation states, could be minus two, that's the common one, uh, minus one, zero, even plus one, and plus two, they're less common. The fact that oxygen can, this is, it comes from uh, ordinary chemistry books, nothing exotic. Um, the fact that the oxygens can take on five different states means that the easy array is not only capable of storing information, but has a capability far, far greater than uh, standard, uh, uh, you know, thumb drives or what have you, standard memories. And a possibility in the future is, is that uh, uh, your, your uh, memory in your computer will be replaced by easy water, especially easy water, which at room temperature can be a solid. Uh, I would make that as a, you know, uh, suggested prediction for the future because the memory density in theory, in theory, we don't know how it works yet exactly, but in theory, uh, it could, could contain so much capacity for information. And a lot of that may be in the fascia too, with the easy water uh, uh, intimately involved with the fascia.